Looks to me you're near bursting with pride. <laughs> if only you knew, Wolf. Tell me, what other Jarl can boast children like mine? <laughs> Shame their mother didn't live to see this. Ceres will make a good queen. Maybe she can finally unite the clans. Let's hope. And if not, she'll always have me and Yalma. If the need arises, we'll take up arms for her. You all right? So-so. Anywhere you cut it, I was bested by a wench. Not just any wench. Aye, true. Suppose if it had to be so, I'm glad it was Ceres. Not even a little proud of her? Come on, admit it. I bet I. She's the blood of me blood, bone of me bone. But don't tell her I said so. Liable to puff out her chest. Which would do her good now I think of it. <laughs> we showed Lugos. That's most important. Did you see that rage grip him? I thought he'd burst. Yeah, surprised to see him in that much of a huff, actually. Our clans have been button heads, chests, bellies forever. It's the lay of the land. Take care, Yalmar. Drink to me. Drink to my health. you calling? Aye, because I was. I thank Mother Nature she didn't skimp on my voice as she did with some others I know. See, one of us, a gill, went mute all of a sudden. No spell or potion helps him. But it is said strong emotions and experiences can restore speech. So I thought perhaps you might... I'll pay you, of course. It give you an excellent Gwent card. Sorry, just not one of the services I offer.
sever his hand. Have a chair in your mouth. We didn't know Orgon's birthday no more. Foreigner, watch your hand. Maybe a nice little axe. What's this? Out this bit. Uh, uh, adornment? They engraved it. So you're... Wouldn't mind look. So long. Seen the plans? Strange, no? <laughs> don't need so much. Why the spit? Well, my dad's off fighting the black. You like to Maybe.
So long. Recognize your type in my little Priestesses are terrible cross. You and the sorceress. Tell the yard. Man needs worries like a whole beach father. No such thing.
Like it. So long. How can I be of service? Show me. So long. Greetings. Show me. So long. And beware of bandits in the hills. Put the village burn, whore. You best take that back. You defile sacred ground. The gods will never forgive you for this. <laughs> he ain't welcome here, witch. You were there. When the weir bears a cloud. Always did know how to win, friends. I was provoked. Mm hmm. Saw it happen. Wanted to talk to me about something? Amos Far Ipsis. A specialist on jinns. Heard of him? I found a tome he'd penned in the Emperor's library. Far Ipsis set off for Skellige one day and was never heard from again. I asked some of the local folk. Some here still remember him. They know what happened to him? The locals say they last saw his ship off the coast of Hindisfjall. Then a once in an eon storm broke. So he's probably fish food by now. Not necessarily. I must learn what became of him. Why? Do you know him? No. It's not the mage who interests me. It's his gin. Why are you even interested? Gins are dangerous sometimes, and malicious all the time. I remember. But the advantages outweigh the risks. If I can tame a gin, I shall gain incredible power. And that could be useful to us one of these days. All right, so what exactly do you expect me to do? You must help me find this gin. I've no gold to offer in reward, but I shall be ever so grateful. 
Since you put it that way, fine. I'll help you. Thank you. A boat awaits in the harbor. Come. <laughs> See, you've managed to prepare everything already. I have. How could you possibly know I'd agree? I didn't. Decided to risk it. <laughs> you hurt? Hey. Did Dad repair like you just for a day? Come and treat the yard with me. Lead the way. Just once, you might try to take the initiative. Would you even let me? It would depend on the situation. Something I've always wondered. What do you witchers do? Giants are running. Okay. The ship carrying the gin sank somewhere in this area. Not too precise as leads go. I'll cast a spell on our boat. We'll know if there are any wrecks on the seafloor below us. All right, let's get to work. Mind if I take the helm? <sighs> Got a choice? No. Geralt, how long must I wait? Are you ready to sail? Not sure this gin thing's a good idea. We managed to seize one before. Do you remember? Of course. And a lion almost lost his voice that time. <laughs> How lucky your exorcism saved it. It was poetic. Yeah, how was I supposed to know that incantation meant be gone and plow yourself? You should have studied foreign languages. I'm gonna keep bringing that up for the rest of my life. Of course. Your last wish effectively assured it. My wish was about us being together always. Not about you mocking my every mistake. You for what you wish for. And when your wish is granted, you must accept it with all attendant circumstances. Yeah. And as for your missteps, I don't like you see why I shouldn't laugh if they're amusing. There's something here, on the bottom. It's too deep here. You can't dive that long. You underestimate me. On the contrary. After all, I asked you for help. I'll cast a spell. It will slow your heart for a time. You can stay submerged longer. Asad I cried a rivon. Ready. Careful down there. How's your bath? Water warm enough for you? Jump in, see for yourself. Seawater wreaks havoc on my complexion. Just find the wreck. How's it going? Yeah, you know I hate it when you read my mind. Strictly speaking, I'm not reading your mind, but using telepathy. Besides, you've nothing to hide, right? What I learned if I did. Not the point. See you. Interesting. A shipwreck in the cavern. I'll look inside.
masts, busted planks, and a whole swarm of drowners. Probably drawn by the corpses of drowned crew, then made their nest here. There's also a clan drowned figurehead. Not the right ship. Come back up. Take us. Say we find the gym. What do we do? Ask for a beautiful house? And a palace? And a queen's crown? Are we still talking about the gym? Or have we moved on to the talking fish? Doesn't much matter. Both make wishes come true. What would yours be? You learn in due course. Something's here. Another wreck. Let's see if our gin's down there. Be careful. Look for something that might indicate it's the Mage's ship. A man's skeleton. Somebody pinned his skull to the deck with an axe. A death worthy of a Skellige. Clan emblem indicates a Dimmon man, so he was from Pharaoh. something. A Skelliger's buckler. Clan Hamai symbols. Don't ask, Clan. Donor was a babe in swaddling clothes when this buckler landed here. Yeah. Doubt any of these boats were the mages. These are old sunken longships. Come back, then. We must search elsewhere. Getting better at this. Go even quicker if you helped me down there. I prefer to observe matters from up here, most definitely. Yeah, like when we were looking for the golden dragon and the avalanche swept us off the trail. Me clinging to the remains of a bridge for dear life. You gripping my waist, admiring the view. Remember? Chasm below us was breathtaking. Rustling trees, a lazily flowing stream. I remember. Though I found myself admiring what I had right in front of me.
Something strange about those walls. And there's something on the bottom. We'll see what it is. See something? Something doesn't do it justice. A huge crater, as if a meteorite landed here. I must see it. Diving in after all? No, I shall cast another spell to see through your eyes. Now relax. I soon fall to a badem ein achter illivade. That is no meteorite crater. What is it then? The effect of teleportation. A powerful force cut out a fragment of the seabed, rocks, and everything lying within the teleportation zone. Always claimed portals were dangerous. I believe we're on the right track. Look for anything that might contain a gem. Fine, but get out of my eyes. Too cramped in here for us both. I soon fall to badem ein achter illivade. Transverse cut through the pelvis. Surgical precision. No conventional weapon could do this. Silver. Pearl encrusted cutlery. Ship belonged to. Hmm. Something cut this basket exactly in half. Bet it was cut by the same thing that cut the skeleton. Hmm. Something cut this basket exactly in half. No gin here, but there's something you ought to like. What? Half a seal. That'll do. Come back up. Only found half. Can you do anything with this? I can use it to locate the other half, to within a dozen yards. And once we find that, we should find the gin. Exactly. Ready? I'll take us there on the count of three. Oh, no, not another portal. Stop whining. One, two... Three! You said you were gonna go on three. I did. Look, we must search the area. Yen, not so fast. Gotta tell me what this is about first. Why do you want this gin? But you already know. A gin's power is priceless to a mage. That I know. But I also want to know how you plan to use it. Wouldn't go to these lengths if it wasn't something important. You're right. It's important. Even very important. How long has this been going on, Geralt? This thing between us? Fifteen, twenty years? We repeatedly split up, then return to one another. Something draws us to each other, but I can never be certain if it's a true feeling or merely a bit of mischief by a djinn. So that's it? This is about my last wish? You asked that djinn to bind us together forever. I want to ask this one to take that wish back.
Why would you want to do that? To see what it's like without it. To see if we'll still matter to one another. Or if we'll be like two strangers. Myself many times. You see, we're just a step away from learning the truth. Come, let's search the ship. Seems Amos was quite the eccentric. Asking the Jinn to lift half his ship to a mountaintop. He didn't necessarily. Jinns are inherently mischievous. This one might have granted his wish and perverted it in doing so. In that case, I'd appreciate it if you didn't wish I'd disappear from your life. I've yet to decide how to word it. We should explore the ship. Interesting. Elemental Empires by Gian Battista. Mystery of Mysteries, Agnes of Glanville. Wonder what this means. must have slept here. Nice shoes. Looks like the impact with the mountain was so powerful it popped the wearer right out of them. Wonder what this means. Blood. Someone was dragged across the deck. War left this mark when the ship suddenly tipped to one side. Nothing here. Interesting here. should explore the ship.
Nothing interesting. this means. Nice shoes. Looks like the impact with the mountain was so powerful it popped the wearer right out of them. The ship suddenly tipped to one Nothing side. Nothing interesting. Yes, we should explore the ship.
wonder what this means. this means. Nothing here. Hmm. Nothing interesting here. Nothing interesting. Yes? Nice shoes. Looks like the impact with the mountain was so powerful it popped the wearer nothing right here. out of him. Hmm. Nothing interesting here. Wonder what this means. For Siri led Geralt to conclude that Uma, the ugliest man alive and the victim of a curse, was the key to finding the young woman.
see something? Something doesn't do it justice. A huge crater, as if a meteorite landed here. I must see it. Diving in after all? No, I shall cast another spell, to see through your eyes. Now relax. I see Fulcher Badem Ein Achter Elevate. That is no meteorite crater. What is it then? The effect of teleportation. A powerful force cut out a fragment of the seabed, rocks and everything lying within the teleportation zone. Always claimed portals were dangerous. I believe we're on the right track. Look for anything that might contain a gin. Fine, but get out of my eyes. Too cramped in here for us both. I see Fulcher Badem Ein Achter Elevate. Transverse cut through the pelvis. Surgical precision. No conventional weapon could do this. Transverse cut through the pelvis. Surgical precision. No conventional weapon could do this. No gin here, but there's something you ought to like. What? Half a seal. That'll do. Silver. Pearl encrusted cutlery. Should belong to someone awfully wealthy. Hmm. Something cut this basket exactly in half. Bet it was cut by the same thing that cut the skeleton. found half. Can you do anything with this? I can use it to locate the other half, to within a dozen yards. And once we find that, we should find the gin. Exactly. Ready? I'll take us there on the count of three. Oh, no, not another portal. Stop whining. One, two... Three! You said you were gonna go on three. I did. Look, we must search the area. Yen, not so fast. Gotta tell me what this is about first. Why do you want this djinn? But you already know. A djinn's power is priceless to a mage. Won't warm your way out of it. Not this time. Tell me the truth or I'll leave. You needn't resort to blackmail. You would have learned eventually. True, but after the fact. I want to know now. How long has this been going on, Geralt? This thing between us? Fifteen, twenty years? We repeatedly split up, then return to one another. Something draws us to each other, but I can never be certain if it's a true feeling or merely a bit of mischief by a djinn. So that's it? This is about my last wish? You asked that djinn to bind us together forever. I want to ask this one to take that wish back. I get it. You want to know what'll happen if magic no longer binds us. I want to know if when the Jinn's magic is gone, if we've any magic left of our own. Hmm. Wondered that myself many times. You see? We're just a step away from learning the truth. Come, let's search the ship. Seems Amos was quite the eccentric, asking the Jinn to lift half his ship to a mountaintop. He didn't necessarily. Jinns are inherently mischievous. This one might have granted his wish and perverted it in doing so. In that case, I'd appreciate it if you didn't wish I'd disappear from your life. 
I've yet to decide how to word it. 